I think we can start for tonight when it comes to this um, uh, the year 7080. As some of our viewers may know, this is a very significant <clears throat> year for the history of the church and also, but even more, yeah, for the for the Jewish nation and religion. Um, so why don't we just start talking about, uh, you know, this year? Why is it so important in general when it comes to history, but also for our topic tonight? Well, in uh, one sense, it's the end of an age and the beginning of a new one. Um, and it's not some clear line of demarcation where one in age ends on a very specific date at a specific hour, but kind of where the two were both uh, mingled together, you know, where the old world and the Old Testament Jews were still performing their sacrifices in the temple, and yet we had the apostles um, already spreading the gospel around the world, and some of them, many of them at that point, were most of them actually were already were already passed away. Um, so we have these two two ages blending together as the world in which we know is just beginning, just beginning. So, um, and then biblically, it's also a a time. Uh, that was prophesied and predicted by Jesus, um, by several Old Testament prophets, Ezekiel, Daniel, um, and it was well documented within history um, through through Roman archives, Eusebius, Josephus, and so we have a fairly good picture of what was happening in those years that led up to basically Jerusalem being mostly demolished, the temple itself being destroyed, and then the Roman world expanding even further than it was, uh, which became the precursor to Europe and the Middle East as we know it now. <clears throat> 